Hi friends, I'm John D'Antonio, the Producing Artistic Director at Creed Repertory Theatre. I'm here today with you to tell you our 2021 season. But first I want to thank you. Thank you for all the help you've given us over this last year. Thank you for watching our online programming. Thank you for your donations, they've helped us to survive. Thank you for all the emails and letters of support. Finally, we got a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. CRT is returning to live performance this summer for our 56th season and our first ever outdoor season. We'll be doing three shows in the park, as well as a cabaret series in Boomtown at the newly renovated outdoor space at the Creed Hotel and Restaurant. There's a palpable excitement and, dare I say, magic in the air. I imagine it was a similar feeling in the summer of 1966, before Creed Repertory Theater even had its name, when it was simply known as Operation Summer Theater. Just like that summer, we've got a small but mighty company preparing to bring Operation Outdoor Theater to life. <laughs> We're back. And now, my friends, it is my pleasure to announce our 2021 season. First on the docket, the new telling of a classic tale. Oh, excuse me. Red Riding Hood <laughs> by Alison Gregory, directed by yours truly. Now, you have never seen Little Red Riding Hood quite like this. Wolfgang, an actor who might also be a wolf, is about to start the show when a UPS delivery woman shows up with an urgent package and she gets sucked into the play. <laughs> Two actors with the stamina of marathon runners weave this fantastical classic fairy tale with humor, excitement, and a whole lot of heart. It'll be a delight for the entire family. The next up, Ken Ludwig's Dear Jack, Dear Louise. Although nearly 3,000 miles apart, when U.S. Army doctor Jack Ludwig begins to write uh, aspiring actress Louise Rabiner, Sparks Fly, this engaging and heartwarming tale tells the story of how relationships unfold while world apart. Based on the true story of his parents' courtship during World War II, Ken Ludwig explores love, isolation, and hope amidst great distance. It's gonna star Graham Ward and Caitlin Wise, and be directed by the virtuoso Michael Perlman. You're gonna fall in love all over again in this show, I guarantee it. And finally, our third show, an Iliad, by Lisa Peterson and Dennis O'Hare. Set against the backdrop of the epic San Juan Mountains, our lone figure steps onto a simple stage to tell his story. Fated to repeat the ancient tale of the Trojan War throughout the centuries, our storyteller finds poetry, humor, isolation, and sadness in this retelling of the classic Homer tale. Now this is gonna be directed by Betty Hart. You recently saw Betty direct the powerful online presentation of Beth Kander's To the Moon. And it's going to star the incomparable Lavor Addison. Hector! Shut up! Ah! <laughs> 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 Wait, 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 wait! I'm not Hector! I'm John! Sorry. In the educational world, company member Bethany Eileen Talley is back, and she'll be directing a devised movement piece for this year's kids show. And after taking a year off, Yout will be back in schools this fall. I know what you're wondering. Where's all this going to take place? Right here. It's Sime Park, overlooking the town of Creed and those majestic cliffs. Not a bad backdrop, huh? Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, where are the seats? Where's the stage? What's it cost? What's the safety plan? Well, you can find the answers to all that and more on the brand new CRT website. I hope you'll join us for this grand experiment. I look forward to seeing you live, in person, in the flesh, as large as life, no, no, larger than life, 
After all, this is theater in Creed, Colorado this summer. <laughs>